What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Right off the bat, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being here. Just want to give all my love and grace to you guys, my subscribers, for sticking with me. And I know my videos have been all over the place lately and just been off um, the wall and not so planned out, but I will get back on track. I've just been trying to drop content. I'm trying to get my computer together. I've been trying to get my office together. As you guys can see, it's a mess right now. And as you guys can see, I'm a mess right now. I jump on camera, not even worried about my hair, not even worried about nothing. I just jump on camera because it's not about me. It's about the product. And by the title of this video, I'm sure that's why you guys are here. Let's just jump right into it. So we got this beauty, this unicorn of a card. And how am I so lucky to be able to be the one, one of the ones to have this card? So let's get this unboxed. This ain't going to be a full review. This is just going to show you a little bit of performance. And let's just, let's get this baby unboxed. All right, guys. So we got the Gigabyte Aorus uh, Master Ice 5090 open up. And excuse the noise in the background. I got a full house today. So sorry about that. I'll try to um, block that out when I'm editing. But very premium experience. So you get the opening like that. And you get this probably just like the welcoming and all. Thank you for buying. But the one of the best packaging i have seen it's not just thrown in cardboard it has all this like uh what is it like plastic styrofoam and it is very i already took the card out but look at that the whole thing packaged very nice very premium experience you get your 120 millimeter fan that's your way you could put on the top if you decide it's supposed to help with the airflow but i really don't think it does anything i wouldn't mind having a bunch of these reverse um RGB fans by ours. I wonder if they have them. And the core, it also comes with the white um, 12 volt, I'll call it the, the squid connector. Very premium, guys. The thing I was looking at was the pins on these. They all look uniform, they look good. Um, you get your, of course, you get your GPU sag bracket. Oh, 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 dropping stuff. Let me see, let me get. And I took the badge out because I do like, I know a lot of you guys were like, why do you put stickers on your PC? But I think it'll look good. Like, look at the infinity mirror. It's sick, guys. So very premium experience. All right, let's get to the car. Oh my goodness, guys. I am in awe right now. Look how beautiful this card is. And it's crazy because with the light shining off of that, it can't even focus. Look. I was having trouble focusing because look, it's so shiny. This is like an iridescent, iridescent color. Um, when the light's not on it, it's just like, it's more of a silver color. So there you go. So if your RGB lights are shining on it, it's gonna look like that. I wonder if actually the back of this might, I, I know a part of this lights up, but I don't know which part, um, but let's get it turned around for you guys. Hopefully I don't drop it. That's what the back IO looks like. The build quality on this compared to the Trio is very heavy, very premium. Um, the top, the whole top part right here is um, like a metal, whatever type of metal they use. And then the bottom half is, it's a plastic, but it's a, it's a premium plastic. On my Trio, you would grab it like that and it would flex. There is no flexing in this. The fans look good. You can see the LEDs on the fans right there. It's the beautiful card. And yes, it does have like a blue and pink. Like, I love that color. I freaking love that color. But that one's more iridescent too, with the light off of it. It is silver. So again, excuse the, excuse the noise in the background. Okay, let's get to the screen. Look at the screen on it, guys. This card is beautiful. Oh my God. It feels as solid as like a Strix card. When I had my 4090 Strix, that's how solid it feels. Let's see what this side, that side really don't have nothing on it. Let's see, it just says, yeah. what does it say actually? Team up, fight on. So, all right guys, that's the card. Let's get this beautiful card in and I'll be back. Let's get some performance and some games. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, I didn't want to move my camera, but 
let's just get this over here and look at how beautiful this card is excuse any sound in the background it's got the screen on it right there and as you guys can see it's very very quiet let me see let me get the mic up to it whisper quiet and of course i do have it turned down right now all right I wanted to show you guys some gaming performance. I'm using my camera, I don't want to use no screen recording. So, one day I'll start doing all that. All right, guys, so. Oh. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Um. Let me let me give you guys a little bit of uh where is it? all right let's turn it up a little so you guys can see how loud it's gonna be let's see i'll put it to 70 so i'm pretty sure that's gonna be like worst case scenario this is with the side panel off guys that's with the side panel off and it's actually not that loud so if I were to put the side panel on it wouldn't be it'd be even a lot less louder so not too bad love it love it love it maybe I'll do a video after this one for overclocking potential oh sorry 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 and guys stay tuned because I did order the Algae X950A 45 inch monitor 4K. So stay tuned for that review. But all right, let me, let me turn the fans down just to, just to about 60. And yes, we're gonna run out of power at 100. So I can show you no overclock. No overclock on it, running it stock, 100% power. We'll leave it right there for now. Let's go go ahead and load up. And as you guys can see, from 60% or 70%, 60%, a drastic change in acoustics. Is that how we say it? Acoustics. Oh, sorry guys, I'm leaving you guys hanging there. Alrighty. And let's do Windows G. We'll do pin. So hopefully you guys can see that. How come? There we go. I was wondering why it was like, I'm on an OLED monitor. Alright, let this load up. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, 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 what are we doing? Alright, let's see. Let me go this way a little bit. Can you guys see? It hasn't even started in game, so. Hasn't even started in game. Alright, let's get it going. Just to give you guys a little bit of performance here. Continue. By the way, I'm loving this Silent Hill 2 game. I freaking love Let me turn my lights off. There we go. I should have put low light on. Alrighty, so. Put the speakers on. Oh, all right, let me show you guys my settings. Um, display settings, all right, so. Let's, we have ray tracing off right now. We will turn that on in a little bit. And we are running native resolution full screen. And let's see, let's put DLS. And let's do worst case scenario. Quality, DLS. Actually, you know what? Let's do DLSS off first. And we will just run it like that so you guys can see how the 5090 does, so. So 
not too bad guys not too bad so with no DLSS in 4k with ray tracing and everything on ultra let me show you guys real quick can you guys see that it shoots up to about 90 depending on where we're at so not too bad guys so that's raw performance pure raw performance without any DLSS or anything oh that got dark oh let's see all right so now get out my what get out my what now let's put it on let's give it a performance boost oh yeah and temperature the temps right now so because I didn't cap the I didn't power limit it and it's running at 100% it's pushing 71 and my fans are only on 60 I'm sure if I put my fans to 100 it'll, it'll cool it all the way down to like 65 so right now the temperature is 73 degrees but again the fans are not you know what let's put the fans up to 70 what I usually run them what I usually run it at where's MSI here we go all right let's put it at let me show you how good these cards actually do so I'm going to put 100 100 on the core and just a small 250 on memory then I'm going to cap it to 80% watch look how good these cards do watch all right now let's actually just see how it's doing without changing settings you look at that guys would you look at that we are getting the same FPS because I put a little bit on the core and I power limited it so power limit in it and I lowered it all the way to 80 you guys seen that and now we are running at 68 so we dropped like five degrees and we're getting the same performance guys so all right let's go ahead and do let me give you guys a little bit. Let's do a performance boost. Oh, wait, was ray tracing off? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, I had ray tracing off, guys. So with full blown 4K, no DLSS, ray tracing on. <laughs> now we're getting 51, 49. So sometimes it'll boost up to 60 depending on where we're at let's go down this way so see shoots up to 58 60. so that we're getting a solid 60 fps with ray tracing maxed out settings now let's put it on let's put the lss on oh, 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 no where is Wait, where is, I can't, where is the hell? Oh, there we go, super sampling. Let's put on DLSS, leave it on quality, that way you get the best picture. Ray tracing on, everything on. So quality with DLSS, boost it up to 95, 91, 92. So some areas 95 to 100, so gain about 30 40 fps just by putting on dlss quality so now if you want to get the most fps and look how smooth oh 103 105 let's go so that's what dlss quality on guys now if you want to push it even more and get more fps let's go down and put it on balanced and the image quality guys you can't really tell the difference I can anyways so balanced getting 111 106 111 so 
110, 116. So see certain areas. So there you guys have it. All right. I don't want to make this video too long. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit on how the gigabyte hours ice and look at our temp 62 degrees guys 62 degrees so you can mess with the fan curve you can mess with overclocking and these cards undervolt really well guys so that's what i just wanted to throw out there i could cap this i could probably put 150 on the core and then four or five hundred on the memory and then um cap the power limit to i've done it down to like 65 and getting under 400 watts and i'm still getting the same performance so you just got to mess with your undervolt so all right guys so thank you guys for tuning in this beauty right here hope you guys like it as as always and you know i do gotta throw in there this cable don't 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 clown me that cable is gonna be hid as i'm gonna have a second screen because the oh 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 you guys didn't see that you guys didn't see that I almost chopped my damn finger off you know what? i'm gonna leave that in there because you know what i give you guys raw footage but <laughs> i can't believe i almost shot my finger off but i'll be getting the wire view pro to put right there from thermal grizzly let's go i can't even throw up a peace sign as always live laugh love never hit on success i gotta go bandage my finger no i'm just joking i didn't really cut it i, I just barely nipped it and we out peace